Before wrapping up this tutorial, let's talk briefly about mail. I did install the mail server and everything that I need for mail to run on my server, I installed it. Now, the only issue you may experience is that most of these cloud providers will disable port 25. That is a SMTP port. That is a port that sends mail. You can receive mail, but you won't be able to send it if their port is blocked. If your port is blocked and you absolutely need to use port 25, just contact them and tell them that you want to use it because you're running a business and you need to send mail. Something like that, they would allow you to, to send mail, but if you're if you're being fishy and they think you're going to spam people, they may not allow you. What you can do is you can go online and find out how you can change the port, SMTP port. Find out how you can change it online and change it. Let's come here under mail and you can see I don't have any mail yet. And the reason for that is because when I was setting up my websites, I did not, I did not enable mail. So let me use this as an example. And the good thing is that all these websites that I've set up, are using the DNS provider from HCP. So everything will work seamlessly. You don't even have to change any DNS settings. That is one of the advantages of using HCP for your DNS. But if you're running a small website, just use Cloudflare. Now, let's see if there's a place where I can add the mail options. Enable that custom document. So I don't have mail there. I cannot add mail. Let's go here and see if we can add mail. So I can add a mail domain. Even though I didn't add it there, I can add a mail domain. A mail domain will add all the details you need to send mail. And for me, the mail domain that I want to add is this. So let me copy that. Add the domain. Spam filter. What do you want to use as your mail client? So I think I only installed Roundcube. That's why it's the only one being shown there. Spam filter, reject spam, antivirus. Of course, you need to enable DKIM, SMTP relay. If you're going to send mail using third-party providers like AWS SES, or you're going to use any other third-party SMT provider, add the settings here. And when you add the settings, you'll just need to add your host, port, username, and password that you get from the other side. Let's say you're using Amazon SES. You're going to get the details from them. You can add all the details right there. We're not going to use an SMTP relay. We're going to use our own DNS, our own server here. I will just click on save. Once we add it, we are able to add the email addresses for this. If you want to add email addresses for that, let's just click on it. And when you click on it, you can add, you can add mail, a mail account. You can also edit the mail domain. Let's see what we can edit. You can change all the things here. So you can add a catch-all email. This is one where when people spam you, they're just assuming that you have a certain email. Maybe you have info and you don't have info at your domain.com. You can create an account that catches all that kind of nonsense. And then let's go back. Let's click on this again. And we're just going to add a mail account. Mail account account. Let's say we want to add Ricky. Ricky at Bizanosa Club. So username. Then you need to add a password. Copy this somewhere because I don't want I don't want to forget it. Add advanced options. What options can we have? You can add a quota. Maybe you're hosting this for somebody else. If you're hosting for somebody else, you can add a quota and say you cannot use more than 100 MB. You can add domain aliases and you can add forward too. If you want to forward this somewhere, you can add the forwarding too. And you can choose not to store forwarded mail. You want to limit spamming, you can say you cannot send more than five emails per hour. Email login credentials to whoever you are creating the account for. So when you're done with all these settings, just click on save. So if you go back to mail, let's just click there to go back. Right now we have Ricky at Bizanosa Club. So if you go into that email, you can edit anything that you need to edit there. Where is Roundcube? How do I access Roundcube? Let's try bizanosa.club slash webmail. Let's see if this is going to take us to Roundcube. 
So this is not. How do I access round cube? Let us go back. Let's see how we can access. Okay, there we go. If you want to access webmail, you have to go back to the domain and you can access round cube from there. So add your domain. My domain is Ricky at this copy Ricky at that and then the password we did save our password here copy paste I'm logged in so let's say I want to send a mail to somebody you click there on compose I will send mail to Let's send to this Gmail so that we can see if, if it will go into spam. Let us send. It ended up in spam. The DNS settings for... Have we added the DNS settings? For DKIM, mail domain is there. But just figure out how you can avoid going into the spam folder on Hestia CP or Vesta CP. So if you don't get any results through Hesta, look for Vesta CP. You're going to get some advice on how you can set up your server so that your mail doesn't end up in spam. I was able to send mail. So if you're not able to send mail, just go to your provider, tell them to open up the port or you can change the port. And also, if you don't want to end up in spam, the easiest fix is just to use an SMTP provider. When you are setting up the mail domain, this domain, you saw that there was a place for you to add your SM SMTP relay. So if you want, you can go create an account. So look into using an SMTP relay if you don't want to end up in spam. You, in fact, this is a better thing to do because you don't have to worry about your mail server ever. Once you do that, your mail will end up into the folder, into the right folder. But you can also set up your mail such that it doesn't end up in the spam folder. Just increase your reputation as a sender. And also, do not spam people. Try not to spam people. And most importantly, you need to figure out which settings in the DNS area here. You need to set up MX Toolbox. MX Toolbox, does it have a tool for just seeing if you'll end up in spam? Let us look at this MX. This will just give us a lookup. We don't need the lookup. I think it's this email health. So we can DMAC found, DMAC policy not enabled. Okay, so you can enable that. DMAC, maybe this is the issue, but that should not be that big a deal. Let's look at email health and see if there's anything they can advise us to improve. So we can see that we are not in any blacklist. So maybe the issues or so name servers are on the same subnet. So yeah, this, this could be an issue. This could definitely be an issue. Reverse DNS does not contain the host name, right? That right there could be our problem. Let's go back into our server. And since I'm on Vultra, this is very easy to fix. Let me just look for, let me see what is my host name and that's my host name. So I will copy my host name and I will take that into uh, my Valtra dashboard into the server where my, is, is, where my HTACP is installed. And if I come here under settings, so let's just start from, from the beginning. So I will go inside of the server and then I will come here under settings. And then where is it there? So you can see this is not the same. This is different. So I need to come in here. And I will change this, paste, enter. This should this should take some time, but it won't take that long. Let me just Google reverse DNS lookup. Our DNS lookup, does MX Toolbox have one? Yeah, let me use the one for MX Toolbox. It won't take too long. I oh, know, I actually need to look for, I need to add my IP address. 
So check if your IP address is connected to is connected to the host name. Reverse lookup. And you can see, okay, now it is connected. Okay, now it's connected. Let's confirm if this will help solve our mail delivery problem. It still ended up in spam. You can see mail reverse does not match SMTP banner. Now this is the last thing we are doing and then we are giving up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, come to mailtester.com. Let us test our mail server. So I'm going to copy the email that they give me. I will go back into my round cube. I will compose an email and send it there. Paste. Test. And then we'll send. If I come back to mailtester.com, I can check the score for my for my mail server and then we're going to see what they recommend and fix those. So you're not fully authenticated. This seems your message could be improved. Ah, that was a test message, so it doesn't matter. This is where the problem seems to be. Let's see what is the issue here. Your let's look at this one, which seems to be bad. We checked a record there's no a record okay oh yeah this is a problem where is this coming from we're using dot club and here we are seeing dot com where is dot com coming from let's go to our dns record and see if we have anything here to do with dot com so if you go to the dns records for bizanosa.club we can see we have the PTR record is dot club dot club dot club. There's no dot com anywhere. So what this means is that maybe there's an issue on my host name. So let's come back. And I did a video about how you can change your host name. So make sure you watch that. So I'll just confirm my host name again. And you can see my host name is dot club. That is good. Now the next thing, let's see in the hosts file if everything is okay in the hosts file. So in the host file, we'll go to, let's just do cut. So in the hosts file, okay, you can see this is where the problem seems to be. So I can just fix this quickly. I've just done cut right now. Yeah, I, this is the one I'm looking for. So let's do sudo. And I'm going to use nano to edit it. Enter. Now you can see I did not change the host name. And I think even Hestia probably tried to change the host name, but it couldn't because of this. And if you did watch the video about changing server host names, then you saw that in some cloud providers, they use a template. So let's go to the template and change our host name. So the template is there. We're just going to change it here. So basically the host the host name is like the DNS for your server. So that is, this is the alias. Let me remove the alias. And I will replace the alias. And then this is your actual host name. Is there anything else here? I don't think there's anything else. So let me just close this and reboot the server. Control X, Y, enter, sudo reboot. Give it time to start up before we try to log in again. And all right.
right everything seems to have, to have been changed so let's go and do this test again i don't know let's try mx toolbox again i don't know if mx toolbox is going to have better results for us let's look at email health email health So you can see that has fixed our issue. It was just the hosts, the issue with the hosts on our server. So that's very important. If you want to fix the issue, then you just need to go to your host name, change the host name appropriately. And then once you change the host name, you go and you change that as well in the Etsy hosts file. That's important. So I hope that at least has given you a good day making sure that you've solved that one issue that was a pain. Now let's go back to tester and we're going to do one last test before we say goodbye to this HTCP tutorial. So I will come back here and I want to compose a new email. Compose and I will use that email here. Let's test. send and then once we send i will come here check my score and everything seems to be okay now and the issue was just the host name make sure you change your host name i did a video about that and that's usually very important in mail you're probably going to end up in spam if you don't change your host name now i will come back uh, and send one to gmail and if it doesn't end up in the inbox folder of Gmail, just know that the issue is not your server. The issue is that you're probably a new domain or your IP address is still not trusted. After a while, once you send mail, you will be trusted. Subject. Send. And after doing that, it has still gone into the spam folder, but this is probably just because my server is new and my IP is not trusted. So once you send a couple of emails and people receive them and open them, then you will, you will be able to go into the inbox folder. It also depends if your domain is not known, that could, could also be an issue and it could also be an issue with my with my message so my message doesn't seem to be anything uh, of value that's why it's probably been sent to spam i hope this has helped you to learn how you can work with stscp mail if you have any questions feel free to let me know